So Frank, a lot of times after the interview, the, the candidate will get an email from the recruiter or the HR that, thank you for applying, we like you, but culturally you're not fit. So what does that mean from the employer's perspective? What, why cultural fit is playing a key role in making that decision? Uh, well, I mean, I, I guess cultural fit can be, there can be a good way of, of, of having, you know, cultural fit and making sure someone's a cultural fit. I mean, earlier we talked about core values and things like that, but I think at its core cultural fit, um, you know, beliefs and behaviors are in alignment with the company. I think that's, that, to me, that's what I think of when I think of a cultural fit. Um, so if, if it's a rejection and you are in a cultural fit, um, yeah, I mean, some of that might have flushed out in the interview and that might be why, um, you know, some companies are very fast paced and, and they're demanding and requirements and stuff like that, where someone might be like, well, you know, I'm really looking for a low key job. You know, I like to wake up at 11 o'clock in the afternoon. And, you know, so there, there can be things that a company's looking for that's like, okay, this person's not a fit. So sometimes cultural isn't just things, it, it could be a little bit more deeper, but I think with, when a company's looking for a specific person, um, and it could be different on an industry, fast pace, you know, it could be a CPA firm that's you know, they're dealing with professionals and things like that, where you know, I'm, I wouldn't be able to go to work and wear a t-shirt and be you know, frank all the time. So I probably wouldn't be a cultural fit for those types of organizations. Um, but maybe it's companies like you know, Google and Facebook and things like that, where they're a, bit, a little bit more lax, more fun, more inclusive and things like that, where you could be a, a much, they're looking for a different type of cultural fit than, than maybe a suit and tie Wall Street organization. So of, of course, based on the type of company you're applying for, I think it's important for you to know where you're a cultural fit at for an organization before you even apply. If you're not hired on a, because of a cultural fit and they say that in a rejection email, I mean, I would say, I, 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 would, I would hate to see that from an organization to say you're not a cultural fit because that could be potentially biased. Yeah. Um, unless you're very clear on why that person wasn't a cultural fit. Um, so I would say we would never do that in, an or, in, in, in a rejection email from someone from our company, um, just because it could be construed as biased. Yeah. And, and it, 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 it does leave the person questioning, like, why I'm not a cultural fit? Like, what did I do wrong? I thought I was great. So, yeah. so I would say before you apply for a job, um, you know, make sure that if you can find out organization, like if they have core values posted and some of that stuff, that's sometimes what most companies are looking for. Like, do, can I see myself here? Do these things describe me? Because you're more aligned with their culture. Uh, if they have core values that you're totally not aligned with, then probably I wouldn't even waste my time applying because then, yeah, you probably aren't going to be a, a good cultural fit. Um, if a company doesn't have core values um, and they don't describe culture in a way that you can even understand their culture, yeah. And then you're declined as a non-cultural fit. Yeah, I, I would say I, I would question that company. You're probably better off not being a part of that organization anyway. Mm -hmm.